Josh Cozart, who is tracking all of this. Josh, next few days, going to be wet. And, and that it is. And this is very typical for us in the sure. month of March. So we like to see the rain showers as March is typically our fourth wettest month of the year. But all of those rain showers sometimes are a little bit of a downfall as far as our astronomical events go. And we actually managed to see one last night or early this morning, depending on when you were able to look up at the sky. It was the full moon, also known as the worm moon, all due to the warmer conditions that start to bring all the critters back to life in our soil. But you'll notice some of those clouds breaking apart early this morning, allowing for us to see the moon. And if you can believe it, it was actually a lunar eclipse, but doesn't look much different than what a full moon typically looks like. And that's all due to it being a penumbral lunar eclipse. So that's just where the outer shadow of the Earth moves over the moon. And you have to get into the umbra to turn it that shade of red or orange that you might typically think of with a lunar eclipse. So only dimming our sky just a little bit with that moon early this morning. But the big event now less than a couple of weeks away now is the total solar eclipse that will be moving its way through parts of the country. Of course, us in the Pacific Northwest not seen uh, as much as the rain showers are eclipsing the sun today as our temperature is hovering right around 50 degrees. Those light rain showers taking us into the afternoon hours as we are still picking up on a few light raindrops falling over the northern Willamette Valley. But coming up in my extended forecast, we're going to be breaking down exactly what these rainy conditions will be doing to our afternoon temperatures in the coming days and we're also tracking thunderstorms and a big warm-up those details in just a few minutes